this problem is asking us to find all horizontal asymptotes, if any, for each of these functions. This problem, again, comes down to taking the limit of our problem, the limit of our function, as x heads to both positive and negative infinity. So again, we're just talking about n behavior. The same idea applies here. We're only concerned about the leading terms. In this case, the leading term in both the numerator and denominator. So in this case, our function can be reduced or more simply written as 4x cubed over 2x to the fourth. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that these are equal. It's just that for these limit problems and behavior, we just care about those leading terms. So we can basically drop out all of that extra information. And then we can reduce what we've got here. 4 over 2 is going to reduce to 2. And then x cubed over x to the fourth is going to reduce to x. So now we can consider the limit as x approaches infinity of 2 over x. Looking back at that theorem, this is headed to 0. Because we're taking 2 and dividing it by increasingly larger and larger and larger values, we're getting closer and closer to 0. Similarly, for x approaching negative infinity, as x approaches negative infinity, 2 is being divided by increasingly smaller numbers. But um, we're dividing by negative 10,000, negative 10 billion, negative 10 trillion. Again, we're getting closer and closer to 0. So that limit's also going to be 0, which means in this case, y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote for this function. And our function has the same behavior at both ends of the graph. As x approaches infinity or negative infinity, y equals 0 is going to be a horizontal asymptote. In part b, again, we're only concerned with the leading terms. So all, we're care, all we care about here is 5x to the 6th over 2x to the 5th, which will reduce to 5x. I'm sorry, 5x over 2. So we can take the limit as x heads to positive infinity, negative infinity. We'll start with the limit as x approaches infinity of 5x over 2. In this case, x is getting larger and larger and larger. We're multiplying it by 5 halves. So that's headed to infinity. If we take the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 5x over 2, x is getting increasingly smaller, smaller and smaller. So x by itself is headed to negative infinity. Then we're multiplying that by a positive. So our positive times our negative still just gives us negative infinity. In this case, we got infinity or negative infinity for both answers. So there is no horizontal asymptote. The only way we can end up with a horizontal asymptote is if we get a real number result for one or both of those limits. In our last example, same idea. We're only concerned with the dominant term, or I'm sorry, the leading term. So this will be 2x cubed over 4x cubed, or just 1 half. If we take the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 half, we get just 1 half. If we take the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 1 half, again, here we get 1 half. So that tells us that y equals 1 half. Write that a little better. y equals 1 half is a horizontal asymptote. Again, our limit ended up being some real number, which automatically makes that a horizontal asymptote.